Well, hello, party people. This video is brought to you by TacTimes.com. Don't go there yet because the website's under construction, but go there in the near future. Anyway, by the time anybody sees this video, that website should be done. So go there or go to YouTube and uh, look up Tac Times. You know what? There's some really creepy stuff there. What am I doing? I don't even know. I'm going to open up a session and I got to find out where that session is. It's a Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. I'm not a fan of it. And um, I'm just going to be saying that a lot probably. And as we go along, I'm going to eat a little bit of food. So, bear with me. I'm uh, I'm in uh, professional mode right now. And here I'm going to give the dog a little bit of eggplant. And we're going to open up our recent session. Recent session. What is last open? Decade of Lights. That's good. That's the one. That's what we're doing. Here we go. Eggplant. And I'm going to shut my mic off for just a second. I'm going to play through this just so we get a feel of it. That way I can eat a little bit. You guys won't hear me slapping my lips together. Watch it real quick. The only thing is, I gotta remember to turn back on my headset or we're doomed. Ready? Here we go.
Okay. Microphone back on. So it gets a little bit more of the eggplant. Um. Well, that video has a lot of stuff going on. I think it's going to actually end up with more, more, a lot more stuff going on. So, not exactly how I wish we're sure I'm going to do this in Premiere CC 2018 because I don't like it. But <clears throat> we might just have to put up with it. At least we do for now. So. Let's get a second pre-edit going here, or we'll just try to go for a full edit, actually. We'll just try to go for the big shebang. I think we could do it. I think we could go for the big shebang. Sit, poodle. No, we're not going to do the big shebang in this one section. In this one session, I could tell you that, because I only got about an hour in me. All right? We probably wasted a nice good amount of time, too. Oh, that's good. Even if this is kind of good. Now, I want to show more there. I want to show a concert, so... I'm going to check my folder footage. I'm in music, decade of lights. Decade of lights music video. So... Do we have any concert footage? Probably not in here. So, what is this? This looks like New Year's. This looks like Times Square. What is this? It's Times Square. Let's go ahead and we're going to look, <coughs> excuse me, we're just going to go to a channel here, a YouTube channel, and we'll go to search for Times Square New Year's, okay, we'll see what we get here, that's 2017, 2019. Let's check this one. I'm creating my Wix. Come on, skip you, skip you, skip you. I don't care about you or your Wix. Have a good day. Do we have the ball dropping? Do I see the ball dropping anywhere, please? Can I get the ball drop? That's all I want is the ball drop. I want to see the balls drop. Come on. No, nothing. But really though, oh, right here. Did I miss it? Did I get it? Anything? Count it down. What's going on here? Oh, I guess it's the same clip. Oh, but look, that's better quality. I think that's better quality. Could be wrong. Where's that clip? Let's just check that quality. Just want to see the quality comparison at a glance. Right there. Looks like the same shot, except one's huge and one's. That's one. That's the other. So, how about theater mode? And then this can get shrunken down just a little bit. Actually, you know what? Put this here. Take this one. And put it right on top of it. And then stretch it out to just about the same. So. 
so your lines are about there-ish lining up. Your other lines are about here-ish. They still line up? Nope. Anyway, it's close enough. Let's just say that's it. But you could already see a difference, I think, in the clarity. As you see around here, you have these sh sharp little areas, but over here they're they're more blurry. You can see in the numbers, there's some sign, there's some letters here. If you come over here and look at that one, yeah, they're blurry too. But it's a, it's a little different frame actually, or what we're looking at here. I'm trying to find that same frame, which would be. It's one of these, maybe. Closer to this. It's close. Right about the too far. A little too far. So we're here. We'll go. Right away too far. Anyway, getting kind of caught up in this little area. This one looks better. I'm just going to grab this one. And actually, I'm going to see if there's a better one because that was 2019 loaded. What is 2017? I'm creating my Wix. I don't care about you your Wix site. site. Get off of my screen. Or... Goodbye. Let's see if this is a better one. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is a cool one right here. Look at this. Wait a minute. That's a cool clip. I'll take that. I'm going to copy it. Okay. I'm going to shut this down. We're going to take this one. Copy this. Paste it. Any more New Year clips? I guess we don't have any big shebangs. So what about fireworks? Fireworks. I was getting 10 hours of fireworks. That's something you might want to use the screen capture for. Oh, look at those. Look at these. Pretty nice. Ah, I know what we could do with this. I know exactly what we could do with this. Bananas. Let's get it. What's wrong with this? Can't find format. What does that mean? What the world does that mean? What in the world does that mean? Let's drink this back down to, uh, come on, stop doing that. Show me back down here and grab this clip again. New Year 2019 did not work. Let's try that again. Cancel you. Uh, okay, there it's going. <clears throat> I know what to do with this. And yeah, what were we looking for? We were looking for... Previously, we were looking for concert footage. Concert. You know, maybe like a Sunfest. Oh, Queen, Live Aid. Let's do. Let's do. Sunfest. Hmm, let's take a look at this. Do we have a crowd here? Let's see if we get a crowd. Come on, Sunfest. Let's see the crowd. There you go. Cool. Yes, all right, cool. I'll grab some of these interesting clips in there. Um, uh, 
exactly what I'm looking for. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Done with this one. Um, Sunfist. Let's check this last one. Without the text. Can we get it without text? There you go. There you go. That's what I need right there. Nice. Kind of wanted an outdoor one. I mean, not outdoor. Sunlit one. But... Day Crowd Sunfest. Da, 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 nothing good here. Maybe Sunfest isn't the word to be searching for. Day Crowd Concert Crowd. Wow. That's a nice little thing going right there. Let's take a look at this. Hey, I created this Listen, logo Mr. Wicks, you're just slightly too obnoxious. Goodbye. Anything here? Alright, we don't want to be playing Bohemian Rhapsody in our recording, to tell you that much. Um. Yeah, that's cool though. We'll take with this. Might want to use that for a brief moment. Man, why does Queen come up as the the biggest crowd? Just because there was a movie recently. Green Day crowd singing Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, here's a. Uh, It was a little more daytime, but it doesn't look like it's good footage. This might be good footage here. Alright, well, let's check a little bit. No, not good footage. It's all kind of blurry. Well, maybe. Let me see. Eh. Nothing really worth looking at. Eh, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's not really like doing it for me. But the one in the dark looked pretty cool. But here we go. Something more like this. Um, sort of. Sort of. They're not doing anything though. They're just standing there. Well, all right. I think we got, we might have enough to move forward for now. All right, just might have enough to move forward for now. Oh, what happened? We didn't get this one in valid format. Right click, paste link. There we go. Something weird's going on. Alright, so I'm gonna go in my folder. This is Decade of Light, so I'm gonna right click over it on any one of these videos. Show in folder, and it's gonna bring me to the folder where they downloaded to, and from there I'm just gonna move them over to here. I'm gonna minimize that for now. Right click, remove all. That's just gonna remove them, not delete them. If I click remove, shrink that down I have them right here and I think I'm gonna just pull them into the project let me see pull them in to the project from here and what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna take this song unlock this layer bring it like way down here and then I'll just lock it here 
And from there, just leave that down there for now. Uh oh, I just went over something. So I got all this stuff here that I brought in. Actually, you know what? If I don't, I don't need to lock this layer. What I need to do is right click it and, and click on, click on, I was going to say unlink, but let me see if I, if I were to click this, would I cut it? No. It's only cutting the video, so it's unlinked already. So that's it. Just don't want to accidentally put something over it. Is the thing. So really, it can actually be remain. It can remain up here and doesn't have to be locked. I don't know, I'm a little neurotic about locking the layers. I don't really do it. But anyway. Anyway got all this stuff here to look at now. Now you got all this stuff to look at. It's a little much. So we needed a crowd. Here's kind of a crowd right there. Do they have instruments? No, they got New Year's. So do we need a marching band? That's a nice shot. It's cool, it's a nice shot, all that stuff is nice. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is be smart about it. I'm going to click on this clip, and I'm going to scale it. And I'm going to scale it so much so that we're going to cut off that logo. And once we have it about here, we can probably move it over. Not there. Logo's gone. Framing's a little weird, but it should be fine. We can tweak if we have to. That clip set. This clip is already set. This clip. <sighs> that's gonna count down. Oh, that's a nice shot. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll s pull this out to there. We have the NBC logo, which I want to probably get rid of. I'll pull it there, pull this over, probably pull this back a little, pull this back over, oh, there's the logo right there, go hair bigger, and if we really want to see, we could look at it here, but 50% or whatever, anyway, a fit, that clip should be fine. This clip is already fine. This one looks about right to me. Except for we're going to have to cut off that just show me. So how we're going to do that is we're going to have to scale it in some, like maybe 120. And then from there, bring it This way, about there ish. Alright, that's kind of cool because I have an idea for this clip. Alright, I do have an idea for this clip. A very good idea, if assuming this, assuming this works. But here we go, this one's set as well. Alright, ready for my idea? Let's see if my idea works. I'm going to take all this and I'm going to raise it up. Take this guy and just stick him back here somewhere. I'm going to take this. I'm going to have to kill the sound. Sound is done. Sound can be gone on most of these clips, but I just want to give the sound a chance just to hear what it sounds like. <clears throat> okay, this I'm going to put here. Then, actually see, when I slide clip, this is where I want to see my clip and I can't see it. And that's what stinks about. Oh, there it is. Look. No, that's still not it. It's not showing my clip. So let's back this up for a second. 
Let's take a look at the beginning. Oh, there we go. Boom. Nice. Very that and nice. Okay, right here. All right. Okay, 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 okay. And what we want to do is bring this in. And we're going to close the eyeball on this layer. And we're going to open this layer. And on this layer, what we are going to do is go to our fix. And we're going to see how this works. We're going to go into our favorites and look for the key. We don't have the key in here. So we'll look for, we'll type for the key. Spell that wrong. We're going to look for the, oh, it's an image mat key. Curious about that. Let's see what it is. Image mat key. Oh, what do we got? How do we use it? How do we use it? Don't even know. What is this? Mask. Oh, I gotta draw the mask. Do I draw the mask? Ooh, pen tool. Do I draw a mask? What do you know? Draw the mask. I don't want to do this though because I don't want to do this. Oh, I just cut my chin off. Can I undo one. Oh, okay, I can undo one. Did I cut my chin off? Can't even tell. Oh no, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. Forget this. Goodbye, Matt Key. Not dealing with you. This ain't After Effects. Okay, I'm gonna try a color key. And the color, we're just going to slap on this black. Oh no, what do we got? We'll take this edge feather. Where'd it go? Where's my edgy feather? Here it is. And we'll crank that beast. So I need to take a little more black out. I think the color tolerance needs to come up. Tweak it back a little bit, and then maybe edge thin it. Do we edge thin it? Oh, sort of. Okay, so here's what we could do. We can really, could really crunch down a little more with the color tolerance. No, that's way too much. Let me pull it back. I don't know, I'm thinking like two. Okay, about two. So then the edge then, why do we have this so high? <laughs> oh, we gotta have it so high, don't we? All right, so we have that. So the next thing that we have to do is take this layer here, raise it up one, take this one and duplicate it, and then this one that's above it, where this is where we'll put the view back on and we'll hide this one. So now we're doubled up with this layer, and when we're, now that we're doubled up, what? I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the um, and take off the color key on this one the top 
and what I want to do is possibly take off the fast color corrector. Oh, put it back on actually. But what I want to do, no, I'm going to take it off for now. What I want to do is take this opacity and bring it down to maybe like 50, 60. So now I have color in my face. Should I have the color? I come back to this one and I take my fast color and turn it off. It might look cooler. So is it better black and white? Is it better black and white? Well, see, I can't play in full. It's not letting me play in full. Out of curiosity, if I were to take this clip, if I were to take this motion wise and move it this way, and then I take this number and paste it on this guy. see the line there though you can see the line so here's the thing I had to go on this video and I gotta throw this video here rather and I gotta throw some kind of feathered is there a feather there's an edge feather throw that on there and then we'll have to go down to the edge feather you see this line right here you can totally see this line from the edge of the, the frame so if I were to take this edge feather somewhere crank it up that line kind of fades off into nowhere it even cut my chin off did it sort of I don't know if you see it still but this one shouldn't have the <clears throat> It shouldn't have the color key. Oh, that's with the color key on. It's actually kind of cool when it's doubled up. I don't know that it's any different than if I were to just shut this channel off. Now, see, I'm going to put this channel on with the color key. Let's see if there's any difference. There actually kind of is just a little around the edges. Gives it like this more of a punch interesting I wonder if we could adjust the color key on one and not so much the other so over here we got color tolerance one or two so what if we put it on three and then we got edge thin oh that is the tolerance never mind so just un do that. What is this? The tolerance, right? What is it doing? I'm a little confused. That might be all we need.
It's a little much maybe on the top layer. Are they about the same? Is there any difference? The difference is this one's all the way gone. So now let's test the difference. So if you pop this up, it just get, gives more defined edge, I guess. That's the edge feather. This is the Oh yeah, well, that's not going to work. Might as well come all the way. And with the feather, probably want to do Might want to come all the way with the feather. What's it look like without? Music. This is a century of lights. Freedom used to be everything. So, you might want to make like a mask, sort of. But I kind of like it coming through the mouth, the nose. It's too hard to see what it'll really look like because it won't play in full render. But with me, with mine, I can take this and zoom in a little more too, like let's say 115, 120, and then we'll come over here and do the same thing. And now we're like super close. And on this bottom layer, I can take the, co the tolerance Down to one. The feather can go all the way. That's not the feather. The feather's down here. Oh, see, this is bad. This has to come. All right, let's start with this. We gotta snap and get rid of all of this. So we'll make this two. We'll make it four. Edge feather. Make it. Let's bring the tolerance up. Right about there. Now edge the feather to get rid of the speckles. Now let's give it more. And why doesn't it look smooth from the edge feather? It's not looking very smooth. I have little speckles in the speckles of black. So let's see him from the beginning. This is where I need things to blow up. And he's got to blow up here. these on over. Here we go. Or, let me see. Or it starts right from the fireworks.
Maybe it begins right from the fireworks. So it's got to be sped up. It's got to be sped up so that this right here Ish has to be. Let me see. Sped up. Like, let's just see what 200 does. Not, not enough. So let's do. Let's do 250. That's it right there. All right. So when I take this off and I stretch this out. It still goes on pretty long. Wow. I almost want to. F That's amazing. The best parts. Oh, look. We lost. We messed something up here. I thought I saw a line. There you go. There's a line. What's that line from? Why is there a freaking line? What is going on? Why is there a line there? Alright, so I have this edge feather copy. I stick it on this one, paste. Well, they both have it. The question is why is there a so I was just showing the line. Oh, because my head's going out that way. So the line was always there, just my head was not reaching it. Oh, okay, so it's the fade, maybe? Let's take our fade back, our feather. Let's go to 50. And take this one to 50. No, no fix, no fix, eh? No fixity. Let me put this on 25% so I can see. Oh, the whole frame is over. Okay, so this needs to come at least over here. You, know, you want to make it bigger? Fine. But it's got to come over this way. And these settings, I'm going to have to uh, copy over here. I'm going to remove attributes, all of them, and then I will paste attributes, all of them. Put this back to fit. And I think I want to be desaturated. I have pretty eyes. So I'm going to go to my color and put my saturation back at 100. And over here, I'll go to the color and put my saturation back to 100. And this one, just so might as well crank it visually up. I don't even know that we, oh, it's not even on. All right, so do I even need this one? Is it even doing anything? I don't even think it's doing anything. Let me see. It's kind of doing something, but nothing major. It's going to make it. It's actually better without it, I think. So. I think I'm just gonna trash this channel. Take all these, bring them back down. Hopefully they 
line back up where they were. Hide this channel for now. And here's where we're going to end the session. fireworks from the end here because they seem to be pretty killer um, and so yeah, see how the fire looks look, fireworks look weird here on the left but it, it works when it's over my when it's behind my face because my face is to the right fireworks are to the left so it works so as we're gonna come to the end right Grand finale. But is that even at the end? That's not the end. Where's the end? This is what I don't like. I want to be able to pull this file and watch and watch it change frames on the screen. Just like CS6. No different. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, look at the grand finale. I'm about to sneeze. Shut my mic off really quick so you didn't have to hear a big sneeze. All right, there we go. So all this stuff here, right? Pretty cool. Nice. So all that stuff is cool. So problem with it is... Problem with it is... Whoops. Why did I just drag this whole thing over? didn't mean to do that. Alright, so over here you have all this stuff. What I think we want to do is get the best. So how do we get the best? We're going to have to grab this, cut it, pull this to the end about here. Trash all that. And then... Let's just see. Oh, wow. That'll be used for later. It's weird. This looks weird the way it's positioned. Um, double click. Where are you? Here? No. Fireworks are below this. Double click. Okay, so yeah, so we had to move stuff to get the, so what I need to do is, and this is going to work actually better probably for the, the face shots here, if I take away some of the water, I'm guessing, guessing, could be wrong, but let's just say I were to take this shot, and we're to... Go over here where the effects controls are for the amazing fireworks clip and then bring this down like here. Now what happens over here? The fireworks in the air it might be a little low now. It could be a little low. guys. Here you see the water. I don't know, the water's kind of a distraction. Kind of a distraction, so let's say I were to take away my head for a moment here. And since we have these positioned here, let's go ahead and shrink this down. We'll put on motion. And so really we were trying to hide that. Alright, so we're going to go just low enough and then over here we could actually bring out everything like this right where's that logo there it is there we go we could smack stuff right there and see what happens the ending is what's missing so 
so the ending is what's going to have to change, is the camera change. Alright, so the camera changes right here. So, we don't want that anyway. Here's the change. Okay, so we're going to cut this one. And for the change, we will go ahead and we'll find the final shot. And the, in this case, we will reposition. Oh no, what are we doing? We're moving the wrong clip. We're actually moving the wrong clip. So let's come back to click this on. Okay, now go back here with the up arrow. Up and down arrows will take you to the transient cuts. And what did I do? I messed up over here, right? I cut the wrong thing. So I'm going to undo the cut. Undo the cut there. Put my blade back on and cut down here. That's where the cut needs to be. Here's the fireworks. Here's the big shebang. Now, for the big shebang, we want to make sure we are in a good posi position for the big shebang. Like that. That's good. So when we come back here, oh, still actually, we want to come down here like this. In which case, we could probably shrink. No, we can't shrink. I'm going to bring this out down there like this right, there you go so now if I'm back in the picture there we go nice good 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 all right so I'm a little probably a little too big but actually, you know what? My eyes aren't being cut off. Oh, let me see what my settings here. That's why my settings. All right, so I can shrink down a little, and I want to make sure my eyes don't get cut off. So I'm going to be over here. Now my mouth is getting cut off, so I'm going to have to shrink down a little more. Where is it normally? Is over here. So. Trying to be more. Okay. Well, that's interesting. All right, so. Northern lights too. All right, so we have all this. Unless we want to stick this back in the center where it was. Oh no! What do we do? We gotta we gotta actually take this right here, and we want to right click and copy. We want to come over to these fireworks, remove attributes, and then paste attributes. Everything. Why do we still have the sea and the ocean? Well, I guess we still have it here on this. I didn't realize we still had it over here, so let's bring this back to 50. Let's. Thought we got rid of the. So we still see the ships at the bottom. <sighs> I see we probably just have to get rid of the ships. They look cool and all, but let me see where we're at with, let's put this back to 25, we'll put this back on here. Okay, so what do we got going on if we were to close this? We've got this going on. So we don't see the ships anymore. Alright, so I'm going to right click this, copy come over here, right click, remove attributes and remove them all, and then right click, paste attributes and paste them all, and now we got the same settings. So, the issue being here, what we could do is, I don't know. 
It's going to say speed them up, but I don't know how they're going to look sped up. Speed up even more. I don't know about that. What I think I need is... Let me just check the difference between... Which I can't see, because it won't let me when I scroll the clip. Okay, over here is where it starts getting nice and cool, right about there, all this stuff right there. So let's take a look at any of this stuff. dark and over here we'll come in where it looks like it probably turns dark no it's not dark or does it turn dark there you go and over here I think it turned dark back here It was better when I was over to the, to the right. So, what I'm going to have to do is... That's a weird looking picture. The only thing I'm going to do for now is I'm really burned out and it's time to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this. I'm gonna render. I'm gonna render this out as its own clip. Control E. Oh yeah, it's gonna make me. Eh. I want to get a shot where the uh
this clip here needs to be I just shifted the wrong thing. This clip here needs to be positioned uh, here, center. Speed. He's at only a hundred. Try three hundred. goes with the beat. Every snare hit changes, basically. This can be a little bit over here. This can come over a little more. This one I kind of actually liked where it had a little bit of space. Because this needs to come over here. Right here should change. On the snare, I'm looking at the snare hit, the beat. Oh, I don't want the suction. So this got to come over here. Yeah, it's grooving now. Every snare hit, it's got a different change. Here's where I need to come in right here. Alright, all that's kind of cool. So let's we'll see if we want to cut another clip in here on the snare. To the snare again. If we just cut this out, what happens? camera moves here. I like the camera moving here. I'm going to find a big one. Um, you know what? I want to change this to 100. So you got 
first blast. Kind of cool. Gotta come out again. That's not working. This can be sped up. Oh, it's already at 700. Wow. Try a thousand. I want to see it leave. And 3,000? There you go. Nice. Here, so these need to move over. This could go about three hundred. Let's see how much we got of the turn. Nice. Right here. We'll pull this. Alright, all this stuff here, I'm literally gonna literally going to just take it and bring it all down. Uh oh, what did I do? What did I just do? I'm not exactly sure what I just did. What did I just do? Confused here, what's this? Anyway, we're gonna wrap it up. I'm just gonna render one of these out.
Oh, that looks a lot cooler.
And here's why CC 2018 is trash. That's why it's trash. Good night.